Welcome to the Mac and Maj podcast. My name is Maj. And this is Mac. And that is Mac. And we are back. Episode 25 or 2. Episode 25 or 2. Or 2. Season 2 of the Mac and Maj podcast. How are you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. How are you? I'm feeling great. Thank you for asking. Really? You're still playing with the mics? Yeah, just a little bit, you know, just cool. to make sure we're we're cool. centered, we're ready to go. So, as usual. As usual. The structure of Mac and Maj. The structure of Mac and Maj. Hit it. <laughs> so we are going to start off with headlines. The headlines. Headlines. This week's headlines. News. This there's week's a, there's headlines. a lot. There's a lot going on. There's a on. lot of stuff. We could talk about it. So so do you want to kick it off? Do I want to kick it off? Who's kicking it off? I don't know. Let's see. Mm, I'll go. All right. So I, I want to start off with this big one, right? Because I think we, so. Last season we did a series spotlight on Friends. Yes. And this week. Um, James Michael Tyler. Yes, James Michael Tyler did pass away. Pass away. Yeah, he passed away, and it's unfortunate because he was like he was that extra spice. So for the, the people, team. for the people who don't know who James Michael Tyler is, go watch our series. Spotlight. Go watch our. Se- <laughs> so so he was Gunther. He was Gunther. He from was Gunther Central from Perk. Central Perk and Friends, and uh, he passed away. He was dealing with cancer. Um, so was that public? Like, I didn't know about this before. See, I didn't know about it. And the thing is, is when I watched the reunion, yes. I, f- I felt like something was wrong. Yeah. I just didn't want to be, a... I just didn't want to be that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I just didn't want to be that guy. I don't think anyone wanted to be that guy. No, no, no. I, I don't think anyone, but it, you that know, person. our condolences, our condolences. He was an amazing, pivotal uh, part of the series, amazing part of the series. And every single one of the cast of friends, on Instagram, posted the exact same picture and they wrote the same thing. So is that good or bad? The, the, so I does think, that mean they no, just have no, one PR person? No, 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 no. I'm no. just asking. No, no. <laughs> so in the same post, they had two pictures. Uh-huh. The first picture was whatever the the person did with that person. Okay. And then the second one was the same picture of James. Michael oh, 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 okay. It's still kind of you know. Yeah. It's still it's like they gave him a template. They're like, here, man, go be great. I don't I don't talk about this death situation anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. 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 So let me let me. Uh, that was that was my highlight for this week. I thought it was a big like. Th- that that was a big one because I I mean we did just see him in the reunion. Yeah, because the show is going to continue forever, but they won't. Yeah, that's. Sad. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So speaking of people that won't continue forever, uh, Brian Laundry's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Brian Laundry's Brian dead is, as hell. So he, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Is he really dead? Can you explain, please? Okay. So Brian Laundry is in the uh, is in the case. Gabby Petino is it? Gabby Petino. Pe- Petito. Petito. Yeah. Pet- yeah. Rick Petino. I don't know. I was watching college for. It's fine. Gab- Gabby Petito, Petito. Rest in peace. Rest in uh, peace. Brian Laundry was. Her boyfriend, a company, a fiance, something significant other. Don't quote us. He was the one that was accompanying her on on this trip that she took, uh, which she never came back from. So Brian Laundry uh, has been a suspect almost the entire time. Like it yeah. wasn't really. I mean, it was him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, it's, it's just like, one of those things. It's just, there. It just it, bro, it's you. Eventually, we're just gonna find you, and yeah. that's it. But then I heard that you know. It was staged. It so, might have been. Staged. So it might it, it might have been staged. And let me let me explain why to our audience. So uh, and by the way, Gabby Petito, uh, her death was deemed a sh- strangulation, right? Yeah. So it was definitely yeah. like, I mean, they they could prove that it was by force. Yeah, um, yeah, it wasn't and like through her strangulation, off a cliff. Yeah. and then yeah, I mean, the, the, a lot of stuff came out in the past two months. I think this case yeah, has been going. It's been. But so what time. happened was they find this dude. So. Their parents tell the FBI, his parents, sorry, tell the FBI, like, yo, we're just going to go look in this one park. <laughs> like, there's this park, it's I don't know. In Florida or It's somewhere. just I, motherly instincts. You know what I mean? Like, I really... And then they found remains of Brian Laundry. Yeah, they found him in the park, some clothes, a few teeth. They said skeletal remains. Anytime I've opened an article, all it says is teeth. And I'm sorry, bro. Teeth is not enough for me to be like, yep, got him. Yeah, someone could have easily just punched me in the face. A a dentist pulled out seven teeth for me before I got (laughs) braces. Okay? And if he could do that, I'm pretty sure a guy running from the police will be like, let's do it. Right? That's... uh... That's so, Brian. <laughs> that's that's Brian. You know, and we can have another segment. You know, Brian's will, Brian's will Brian. You know, we can I mean? we can break down this analysis once we have some lawyers on. Yeah, on, on our, ex- exactly. On exactly. our guest people, but um, 
So another highlight. We're just two week. average guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We, like, this is what goes down in my brain. It's like, oh, he's dead. We just like, lay what the media shows us. Yeah, yeah. I am like literally like your mediocre consumer. <laughs> <laughs> and we just tell you what we saw. Yeah. I'm like, dude, look. You so, saw this too, right? Sick. So that's another, our, another thing I thought another thing that we saw, uh-huh. right, is um, Alec Baldwin. A lot of death today. A lot this, of death, bro. A lot of death in this he, episode. So he he shot. He had a prop gun. Yep. Uh, on set of a movie or whatever a show. Whatever rust, it, rust, rust, yeah. rust. Right in the middle of the desert, apparently. And he uh, he fired the prop gun. It fired. Yeah, I mean, and it wasn't propped. It wasn't propped. <laughs> <laughs> and he killed uh, the photographer one of the one of the cameramen or um, something it, no she was like in charge of photography woman. yeah so there there was two people there's she's the one that passed passed away uh, and then, and then was, another one got injured got injured uh, was it the same bullet do we know i i have no idea what i do know is They're that like ricochet off him and then land is, is that they were very thorough apparently there's like a process there's like this word you say when you're handing out non-live uh like yeah, you know weapons, weapons uh-huh. to the cast member and to the like the there's like a gun guy that's there that's no essentially way. like yes oh, this oh, one's the not prop gun. Yeah, 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 the prop I saw, guy yeah i saw this guy yeah, yeah so yeah, he's yeah. like yeah this shit's good we're good oh and, so it's his fault yeah so and the family oh. of of uh, uh and and let me pull up her name the family of of the woman that passed uh was i think they came out and said we don't believe that this is eric baldwin's fault like we don't blame oh well that's nice of them alec to say baldwin that. for that it, it is nice for them to say that so I, I don't believe like i wouldn't believe that alec baldwin her name would. is uh helena hutchins. helena hutchins helena hutchins no it's not it's not his fault it's, it's just like fault. it's just like it's kind of like when jackson mahomes did like a, the dance on the number 21 at sean taylor's thing it's like ah man like it's you didn't know like it's not your fault yeah. Like, it's not your fault, but something really bad just happened to you, and you're but just going to have to eat it. But don't they just, like, test this before? Like, so, it's not Alec Baldwin's fault. We it's, agree. No, it's not. But, but th- if I'm Alec Baldwin, I just want to do this, like, over there, just real quick. Like, just double. Does he want it? Oh, oh. But, you I mean, that's I mean? not that's not your job. You know, I know you already not. have to worry no, about no, no, enough no. as an actor. You want I'm me saying. to shoot the prop gun before every scene now? Is that no, what no. we're doing? You're the prop guy. <laughs> just make sure it doesn't have shit in it. No, I completely agree. I'm just saying, like... I'm I'm guessing Alec Baldwin would either never do a gun scene ever again in his life uh-huh. or do that. <laughs> and then and then Donald Trump Jr. decides to sell t-shirts that say guns don't kill people, Alec Baldwin does. I'm like my guy, like really? <laughs> it's like is this what we're doing now? Like That's so lame. It's it's gross. But anyway, let's talk about something else. Was that your highlight? That was my that was my ass light. That was <laughs> Such a right. shitty earth. No, that's it. That's that's the shitty death that happened this weekend. Okay. Uh, oh, promoting. there's one. There's one more. Okay. One so more. Yeah, there's something we want to talk. about It's not death. Well, it's the death of Ben Simmons' career. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're right. being real, so yeah. so Ben Simmons, Still Ben Simmons, death. Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons, a great player used to be a great player for so, the 76ers. So Ben Simmons, I don't think Ben Simmons understands. This is the last highlight, but I don't think Ben Simmons understands. Uh, how to do a holdout. A holdout is when a player says, I'm not going to come play unless you satisfy these demands. It's called a holdout in sports. Right. Usually this is done by good players, right? <laughs> <laughs> in a conventional NBA setting. Or have something to leverage. Yeah, yeah. So Ben Simmons uh, <laughs> lost a lot of leverage in the last playoff series. Yes. Okay. So Ben Simmons is in a weird position because I've never seen a player that not good on <laughs> that awesome of a contract be like no i'm done I'm like done. Oh. so let's let's break down what happened this week ben yeah. simmons said that he's having mental issues of mental health problems and that's causing him to not want to report okay so to give you guys a, a little bit of a rundown ben simmons had a nightmare of a, a playoff run with this with the 76ers last year, last year absolute yeah. nightmare like he was passing up open dunks. Uh, the I don't think he scored in a fourth quarter. I don't. I, yeah, that's he, right. That, no, that's right. right. It's something I can't, like I can't that. remember what game exactly. Or like seven right. straight fourth quarters he didn't <laughs> score. Or something like some disgusting. Right. This, this guy's your second best player. Right. So after this whole hoopla happened, <laughs> right? Doc Rivers, his coach, when asked by a reporter following the final game of that series that had them lose. Said, okay, what now with Ben Simmons? Yeah, what do you think of Ben Simmons? And yeah. he was like, I honestly don't even know how to respond to that. 
right? So that happened. Uh. A lot of trade rumors happened. So yes, Ben Simmons deserves the right to be mad. Hold out, eh, maybe a stretch. Yeah. Daryl Morey, in response to, to this situation, Daryl Morey is the GM uh, who's basically in charge of the operations and the players and whatever from a contract perspective uh, of the Philadelphia, Philadelphia 76ers said, hey man, look, if we got to do this for the rest of his contract, we're doing it, but we're not going to trade him if we don't want, if we don't get a piece back. No way. Yeah. He's like, I don't give a shit, dude. If we, if we have to say, oh, I have a back spasm and mental health problem or whatever, you want to get out of every game, that's fine. I don't care, but we're going to be here the whole time. Nasty. Right. So I mean, it's just that it's just a weird situation. Like I don't think he knows that like he's not the guy that should be doing this. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I don't. I, it's it's weird. Like only only good players, like you said, should be doing. Yeah, this and I of... get that you're mad. I get that you're mad. It's okay to say hey, like, but but that's for you to to kind of vocalize to the team, right? And then. From there, you guys need to make a mutual decision. Now, there's fault on both sides. So is he doing? So is he doing like, like I'm mad, but I don't want to come to the game because of some other problem. So allegedly, people are saying, and I don't want to, I don't want to cast doubt on the man, but a lot of people are saying that Ben Simmons got himself suspended his, for the first game, then uh, said he was dealing with, you know, mentally he wasn't ready to come back. A lot of people are saying that he's just saying to these things to say them that's not me i don't know ben simmons i i just know what i hear yeah, so i wonder who's saying that um <laughs> yeah like uh a lot of these uh sports reporters and stuff like that oh, okay uh that are generally credible so i don't know uh i do think it's very weird though very very weird to see a guy that failed that bad be put in this situation because usually teams ha- don't teams usually don't shit on their guy like that yeah, 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 yeah you know so it's such a weird situation Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. <laughs> well, anyway, let's uh, let's move off the the, the death and, and sad things for a while of careers. Of okay. People. So speaking of death, uh, Classico is dead. It's <laughs> it's dead. I mean, it's dead. It's done. Classico. So let's explain it's to them what done. we mean by Classico. Okay, go. Classico is a game that happens when Barcelona and Real Madrid play against each other. No matter what they're doing, yeah. When they're playing against each other, we call it classical. Yeah. Yes. It is. It is one of the most, if not the most, the be- like the best matchup. It, ever. It's it's the most anticipated rivalry yeah. every year. Yes. Well, at least was. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about these guys have been rivals forever, yeah. for generations. It's basically it also is, political was... too, because like Madrid is the capital of Spain, <laughs> Barcelona's Catalonia. Catalonia has a lot of beef with Spain. Yeah. They want to secede from the Union. So it's been it's been an amazing like every time you watch this this classical game, it, it's always intense. Yeah. But so but... What, what had happened was is <laughs> so El Clasico. El Clasico to me is dead. It's dead now. So it happened. It happened this past weekend. It happened this past weekend. It's not like they're not playing it anymore, yeah, but exactly. they might as well not be. And, exactly. and let me say why. Uh, this was the first little classical I didn't watch, by the way. I didn't watch the whole thing. I, I turned the channel once United started playing, and then care. I was like, "Good lord!" I just, um, <laughs> so the thing is this: soccer is more than just. The teams and the players and whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay? It, it's it's more than that. Okay? A lot of it is about the culture. So the culture of this rivalry will never die. Right? Because it's there's political, whatever. It's always I guess. El Clasico. But the problem is, currently, last year, whatever, uh, and this is how you can tell things have been wrong. Because Madrid has won the past four. That's how you know things are <laughs> off. The, they've sucked. And because Both the departure... Yeah, the departure... Of Messi from Barcelona and the departure of Ronaldo from Real Madrid just killed it. Just it, it killed it killed that team for me a little bit. Yeah, it killed it killed both teams. Thank because you for it's saying like, this and being even like like you're a real Madrid fan and it's hard for I, I Madrid re- fans to be like, you know what? No, Madrid is always number one even without Ronaldo. No, like, no. Ah, no. See, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of of what they do. Like I like the club and whatever. And it's, it's at a low point. 
it's it's at a low point. It's okay. Like when Kobe left the Lakers, even when he was at the tail end of the Lakers, they sucked ass, right? Yes. They're at a low point for a while. You couldn't pay me to watch a Lakers game. I'm not a <laughs> Lakers fan, but you Lakers wasn't was can't miss basketball for so long. Exactly. Right? Uh and after that whole Kobe thing, I'm not watching that. Like I, I can't watch that. <laughs> when LeBron left the Cavs, I'm not gonna watch Mo Williams. Like what <laughs> like what are you talking about? Right? So it's at a low point right now, even though there's some great players. It, it, there Mad- are. Madrid has some of the ones that we know. Uh, Barcelona is younger, um, but there, there's some great players that play it. It's just not there was sexy a, a, anymore. Look, at one time, I was able to name every single player in the roster for both teams when watching the class easily. Now I I get confused. It's <laughs> and I get there's confused. a shift in the culture too because yeah. the kids nowadays the kids I guess it's both it's both right it's it's the culture side uh-huh. right for sure I agree with you 100. percent and then there's the, you know, the players. Well, no. So I was saying in, in the culture, I mean, our culture as fans, like we, we're we moving away from the, I'm going to stick to one team to I'm, to I'm going to stick to players. Yes. Right. So that's one. A that lot puts of these more pressure on. It puts a lot more pressure on these teams on the clubs, to yeah. build, to build a good roster. Right. Because the, the fans aren't promised now because kids they live in like a TikTok microwave era. Things are so fast. So they don't have the <laughs> the patience. They don't have the patience. To, yeah, yeah. They don't have the stamina to keep watching. Yeah. They, I'm not going to watch you be ass. Like there's not, I guarantee you there's not one Cavaliers fan anymore. Yeah. Like, it's, because, you know? it's because right now we're in that age, just like you said it, you said it perfectly, right? We're, we want that quick game and I need goals. And exactly. I need, I need something amazing. Exactly. Or if not, I'll just go on TikTok and, and I'll watch it there. And the game was good. It was 2-1 and, and the game was okay. It's just, it's just if there's other stuff on, I'm gonna watch the other yeah, stuff wasn't on, five and that's what La Liga is now. Yeah, La Liga is a if there's other stuff on, I'm definitely gonna watch the other exactly. stuff. Exactly, other stuff could be a game. It could be like Coco Melon. Like it doesn't. <laughs> it, re- it doesn't really matter. Dora, you know. <laughs> I mean, it could be anything. I agree. I agree, and I'm uh, I'm upset that it's. It, it's sad that it's come to this and like right? people are like hey are you gonna watch the classical i'm like dude like maybe like if i i might slip into it by yeah. accident before but like, like i would skip class just yeah, to watch yeah. like, right now i'll be like oh, i'll see the highlights yeah man it was different it enemy. was different especially in the middle east people take sides barcelona madrid it's really big yeah but it's it's not as big mm-hmm. now because a lot of them are like oh now i'm a manchester city fan now I'm a paris Saint german fan now i'm a liverpool fan now I'm a... so i mean that stuff doesn't exist anymore you right. know, but uh, overall, not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of feedback from that game nope. at all. Really, don't have anything. For I watched it. the highlights, but I couldn't uh, yeah, care. I I mean, I just didn't care. <laughs> I don't even care to tell you like what happened. It, it's just not worth your time. Just go watch the highlights. No, it's just not <laughs> worth your time. So what what we will talk about? What is worth your time? <laughs> what is worth your time is. Uh, Manchester United versus Liverpool. Oh, man. Okay. So we we recap the big games here. Uh, this was not a, a big game because Manchester United looked like they were playing like a D3 lacrosse team trying to play soccer. So it was a big game right before the game. Yeah, right before it started. <laughs> so let me tell you, let me tell you who got the worst deal out of this whole thing. Please. Tell okay. Me. Let me tell you who got the worst deal out of this whole but thing. Keep in mind, he's also a Man United fan. Okay. So my father. Okay. <laughs> My pops, OG, Maj Sr., okay? Maj Sr. flew to Manchester with his boy. He flew. They flew there. They flew there. I'm not going to say what class, but let's just say, you know what I mean? Right? He flies there, goes through TSA, right? Kid, TSA is not easy. He might have pre-check. But he goes, flies there, flies to Manchester specifically to watch this game. He doesn't do this much. <laughs> he doesn't. This isn't a thing, by the way. Like, I'm not saying this but like, oh, he went to the grocery Ronaldo store. This doesn't is on, happen. Ronaldo is on Man United playing Liverpool. Yeah. Mo Salah, I'm going to that game. Yeah, and he's done this maybe two, three times. It's, it's not like this is a habit of his. And a Man United fan. And he's a Man United. So he goes, <laughs> right? He goes through TSA, probably, you know, had to eat British food for a little bit. Probably. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, but then he sat in his seat. Right with some Liverpool fans around him, and proceeded to watch his team lose five zero in person. That is horrible, and I, I really pray for his mental health uh, because Lord knows I need someone to pray for mine. 
<laughs> so how did you like Liverpool? <laughs> okay, so I, I'm, I'm going to make this easy. Yeah. I'm going to make this easy. One, two, three. In, interrupt me, and then we could talk, but I'm going to make this easy. Go for it. Because this is like a breakup. I need closure. Sure. People have been texting me. I've been getting a lot of memes. So, we, we <laughs> <laughs> so we've talked about this last episode. Go watch it. Okay. As a preview to what he's about to say. So, so I'm going to say that, but I'm going to start with the analysis of the game, and then we could all say what we're all quick thinking. Quick analysis. Just quick tell analysis. Me, tell okay. Me your quick analysis. Okay. Manchester United. Uh, let's let's start. One. Ole mm. needs to be fired. He needs <laughs> okay. to be fired. He needs that's, to be replaced. That's of course. Okay. <laughs> that's it, a, in terms sure. of tactics, he can't wash the dishes, let alone sit at the table with Jurgen Klopp and and these other guys like freaking Pep Guardiola. He's nothing. He's nothing. They're running around like chickens without heads. Okay. Okay. So, so he's so gone. He, he's gone. <laughs> He needs to be gone. He's gonna be he, gone. He's gonna be gone. One, I'm a practical guy. Sure. <laughs> I don't introduce a problem without introducing a solution. There you go. Who okay. do you want, buddy? Okay. Who do you want? So this is gonna surprise you. Who is on the market right now no. that came from a huge club that everyone wants United to get? <laughs> Who? Mourinho? No, 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 no. On the market. Zidane. Oh, 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 I've seen this. I think that's the stupidest idea known to man. Bro, and I'm, let me I'm gonna explain cry why. If that, ha- if that happens, do you um, think it's smart? Or dumb? No, no. Okay, so let me explain why <laughs> it's dumb. It didn't do well. Let me, <laughs> let me explain why it's dumb. Okay, for all, for all you fans out there, for all you soccer fans, you're going to understand what I'm saying. Zinedine Zidane is a good manager for a certain type of team. He likes to attack from the flank, the sides, left back, right back, right wing, left wing. He likes them to go and press up the field. Now, Zidane coached Real Madrid. When those press up the field, there's three people left. Your defensive midfielder and two center backs. At Real Madrid, that was Casemiro, Sergio Ramos, and Varane. At Man United, that's Maguire, Lindelof, and Fred. Okay, it's not going to work because one sneeze and they're coming right back and and they're going to shit on those three men. They're, I can absolutely shit on them. So Okay, so, so who do I want? Who do you want? Who do you want? I need somebody that is going to come in and have my defense not play good, but be disciplined. Do not make mistakes. You guys suck ass. <laughs> Varane needs to come back, but don't make bad mistakes because almost all of the Liverpool goals were because Maguire bumped into Shaw. Like, it's yeah, yeah, like I saw, stupid I saw shit that. like that, right? I Feels want like logistical errors. And, and by the way, this is a floating rumor, so it's not like I'm breaking the news. No, I've seen it. I've seen I it want online. Antonio Conte. He is the current rumor. He is the current person linked with Manchester United. Bro, I saw everywhere Zinedine Zidane's photo. And men, no, men no, United. it's happened. This is today. This happened today. Like, you might not have even seen it yet. Really? Yeah, this happened today. Like, two days. So, you think that's going to actually happen? The Glazers, the owners of United, are meeting with um, the uh, athletic directors. So, and trying so to what's his name's gone? Like, he's, he's just out. They're trying to figure out how long to give him. Should they fire him now? Should they fire him after next game? Or should they let him ride out to the next break? But as of now, we have no idea. And Conte has a rule, by the way. He says, I don't come mid season to manage teams. But apparently, he said, I'm willing to break this rule to, to manage. Because <laughs> you guys need help. You guys need help. Like, it's charity, really. When you think <laughs> think about it so that's one that's one so and two they just need some a center back and a center defensive midfielder they they need possession in midfield they need so not defense. only do they need a a new coach he will he will like they Conte, Conte Conte can get them to be a great team he can get them to play discipline in defense. He could get them to play together as a unit, press together, whatever. But at the end of the day, they're not the greatest. So they might lose some of these big games, but they will be a great team. So like was- maybe even compete for the title. So- no, I'm serious. If, if they can get defensive stability, right? But there's one thing in, in this, whole, this whole debacle that debacle. I don't know who's going to talk about it, but I'm going to say it. Sure. Okay. Cristiano Ronaldo. Thank you. He scored a goal. It was nice. Offsides. Uh, <laughs> Cristiano count? Ronaldo is... We need to see him for who he is now. And so do they. And I don't think they've gotten the message. Meaning, when you're playing with Ronaldo in 2021, you're playing with 10 people on the field for the majority of the game. He is out of the game, the majority of the game. Because Ronaldo is not now about... Tracking back, running forward, getting the ball from the wing and driving in, 
bang, bang, so bang, he's bang, no bang. Longer, you're saying Ronaldo he's is not that no guy longer anymore. The, the Madrid Ronaldo. No, he's not that guy anymore. <clears throat> he's about moments. If you could give him this delivery, nice delivery, give him a nice chance, he will put it away. But if you want runs, if you want whatever, that's not going to come so too kinda, frequently. Is he kind of like Aguero now? He's He's gotten to the point where he is helping the team when he scores. But if he doesn't score, he does nothing positive in the game. There's no yeah. takeaways. So if he doesn't score in the game, he's not really helping There's anywhere not, else. Exactly. There's not really a whole lot of takeaways. And, and the reason why, too, is not even at his fault. He's a great decoy. But the midfield, especially Bruno, keeps trying to target him. It's like very obvious that I'm trying to give him the ball. Yeah. And I'm like... Not really being discreet about And I'm like, that. dude, it's like, I, I see you. Like, <laughs> like, I could just stand in front of him. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he still no, does I, I get what you mean. I think it's true. I think... It, it's having a player like that, man. Yeah. And you need you need now not people to support Ronaldo. Yeah. But to people to take charge now. Exactly. Right? And Ronaldo's there to help lead the team. But he's no longer the guy who's going to do it all for you. Exactly. And he can help you prep someone to do that. Yes. You just need to find Yes, it. exactly. So to <clears throat> me, United is playing like the Brooklyn Nets played last year. Okay? There are a bunch of individuals... They're not playing as a team. They have some gaps, but they should be winning. Yeah. Right? They should be winning. When they lost against the Bucks, they should have won that series. But because they, the Bucks play as a team, the Bucks play the Bucks play as a unit, and Brooklyn doesn't, they have no system. They have no offense other than Kevin Durant. Yeah. True. You're, you're going to lose. So so real quick on Liverpool. Yeah. Liverpool. Oof. <laughs> Bro, Dude, let me let me tell you that team. That that team is great. First of all, Mane didn't even start, so there's that. Yeah, uh, so, forgot that. Yeah, but <clears throat> look, I will say a lot of their goals were mistakes that we just gave them, but the finishing was top notch, and you can't take that away from them. You know, at the end of the day, they got the they got the chances. We got chances. We couldn't put them away. They did. Okay, and one person in particular put away more than the others. Okay, we talked about him last week. I can't remember what I said last week. What did I say last week? I'm not going to tell you. Hamad Salah. Remember last week when we we said that uh, Klopp said on an inner uh, on a yeah that he is the best player in the world as of right now. Yes, and we said in this in this podcast that we don't have beef. Yeah, you, know, you said he's his coach. That's what he's supposed to say. Yeah, yeah. But I, I but I also said I don't have beef. Yeah, no beef. I don't have beef. I understand. Beef. But now you have something to add on top of the beef. Right now, I will come out. Uh, this is very difficult for me. It's okay. Take um, your time. We have time. Yeah. It's, it's just we can coach, skip our just, next segment. Can you hold my hand? No, we'll skip the next <laughs> segment. It's fine. Take your time. Uh, okay. I'll say it. Um, Hamad Salah is currently the best soccer player in the world. And it's it's not particularly close either. <laughs> Okay, like Lewandowski, great. Thank you for saying that. Benzema, great. Not that like I've kn- known this for a while. I'm yeah, just yeah, saying, no. Thank it's, you for, it, I'm, I'm just it's saying it's hard. Yeah, because I know you. Yeah, no, it's tough. Like it's yeah. it's. Tough. But I've always um, had high like I've always seen Hamad Salah as like an amazing player. Yeah, but now he's like too amazing. I, I've seen him as a good player. I th- I think one thing that was one of his pitfalls is timing. That I saw before. Not like I could do better, but he either held the ball a little too long, didn't hold it enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, his he's so he's so dialed in this year. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and honestly, for me, I'm saying this now, I'm joking aside. Before I used to think Salah was like had his like best season ever, and then he's just gonna flop. Like exactly. I I did too. I actually thought I, he was. I a, did too. Full disclosure. But he's been. He's been improving. And we talked about it last time. We say there's a lot of attention on these guys, Mbappe, Holland. They're not talking about these 28, 29 year olds, exactly. De Bruyne, uh, uh, Salah. They're not talking about these guys as much. These guys might be running soccer right now, and we're just focused on Ronaldo and Messi. Yeah. Right? They should just retire. They should just <laughs> retire. Um, okay, well, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be back with some more topics. Sounds good. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. All right. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, on to the next topic. We are going to talk a little bit of Champions League. Champions League. Champions League. Okay. So we, we told you guys what games we expected to go crazy, what what we wanted you guys what to were watch. Those games? So uh so one of them was Real Madrid versus Shakhtar, and that was five zero. So nice. there's that. 
PSG versus Leipzig, 3-2. Uh, I think uh, Mbappe Mbappe got a nice little um, nice little uh, a goal there. I'm pretty sure he got an assist to Messi, too. Uh, Atletico Madrid, Liverpool. Wait, Liverpool, who said PSG and... Leipzig. Leipzig. Oh, okay. Yeah. Liverpool, Atletico. Atletico got hit with a red card. Uh, the red card was hit to Easy Greasy, Griezmann. 52nd minute. When they got hit with a red card, it was 2-2. No, really? Yeah, I, I mean, didn't the, watch that. The game. third goal was scored in the seventy eighth minute. It was a penalty. Uh well, Tough. Liverpool's three and zero. Yeah, Ajax absolutely waxed Dortmund, just four <laughs> zero. Like I, I did not expect that at all. Um, Porto versus Milan. We, I think we both said Porto on that one. Uh, figures. Yeah. Barcelona. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, United Atalanta, that was a shitty game. I watched that. They won in the last second, three mm-hmm. two. Um, Ronaldo, you know what are you gonna do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you give him the moment, he scores. That's what he does. Um, Bayern, Bayern and Chelsea four zero pieced both Benfica and Malmo. I mean, what are you gonna do? The group stage is a little dull, man. The group stage is a little dull. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just want to get away from. This. I just like the games. Like I could pick games. So, for example, um. <laughs> Not this week, but next week is when Champions League is back. Okay? Not this week, next week. Yep. Next week, Champions League is back. So we are going to do our predictions next week. Are they off because of Halloween? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will say, Atalanta is playing United again, right? Uh, Porto is playing Milan again. Real Madrid is playing Shakhtar again. And do you know why? Because all the teams are playing the teams that they already played that last week. They're just doing it again. Oh, wow. They're switching the land. We should just skip the podcast. Then. <laughs> yeah. They're switching the land. Well, this is their time to... Exactly. So, I mean... Switching the land. We... If if there's any time to prove anybody wrong, it's in this situation. Because this doesn't... This I think part of this is might be a COVID thing. Because I don't think this is normal. That they just... Everyone plays exactly who they played last week, except reverse the, yeah, the yeah. stadium. Was I don't think planned? that's usually like that. That's premeditated, I think. So Inter Milan did well. Yeah. So we don't we don't really have to give our predictions. No. Um, right now, but hey, if we see something between now and the end of the week, it's the same game. So how much could change, right? I know, right? Sure. But Inter uh, and UV played yesterday. Inter and UV did play yesterday. Did you watch Draw. that? I did. It. I mean, the Italian league, man. Talk about a dumpster fire, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like a, it's I, like really a thought, I really fire. thought when Ronaldo went, he was going to change the trend of all great players going to the Italian league and making it great again. But then PSG came and just swooped them all away. Yeah, and PSG like, <laughs> just just got a broom and just swept yeah, them all. And they just went up to the plane. And was like, nope, you're going to stop right here in Paris. <laughs> um, okay, so Champions League is a little short this week, but you know that's where we're at. So uh, as far as some as far as some mm-hmm. other. Uh, Topics we want to get into. Uh, tis the season. Tis the season to be what? Halloweeny? Halloweeny. <laughs> okay. So Halloween is Halloween. coming up. Halloween this is week. coming up. This, this week. week. Are you a Halloween guy? So what do you so what do you mean? So I do the chocolate and I do the movies. What else is there to do? No, okay. So I mean like spooky stuff? So yeah, I mean spooky season. So uh Halloween. To me, if you're a Halloween guy, you watch Halloween movies, right? You have Halloween candy that uh, when you're thinking about it, you're like, maybe if kids don't stop by, it might be better. You What's know? that candy called? The one that looks like a, candy corn? Like, candy corn. That shit's it. disgusting. I hate it. That but, it's like eating candles. But like it's everywhere. It's it's gross. Everyone has it in their house. I don't know why they it. call it candy corn. It's it's not candy and it's not corn. That's not candy. I have no idea. What that I'm is calling. chalk. It is chalk. It's disgusting. It's gross. Okay. So, but are you a Halloween guy? Do you like the holiday? Yes, I do. I absolutely do. Um, you used to dress up in the whole thing? Oh, all the time. Yeah? What was your I, favorite costume that you ever wore? <clears throat> I'd go as uh, Mac uh, begging for candy. Oh, okay. It's a good look. So <laughs> it's just like you just wearing what you wear. I just go there like, hey, what are you as? <laughs> oh, you remember that guy that came last year? I'm him again. <laughs> um, but I, I know. I do. I do. Uh, I used to. I mean. Yeah. So what, did, what was one of your favorite things you ever dressed up as? Oh, Batman, for sure. Batman? Oh, yeah. Oh, you, like so. People who don't know, I got my son the same Batman stuff that I wore when I was a kid. Oh, really? Yep. He didn't like it. Um, yeah, I mean, he's an infant child. He so. doesn't know Batman, so yeah, I mean, he doesn't know anything. He really. didn't help <laughs> Gotham, but anyway, um, it was. I used to like it. Mm. I, that's the. 
ev- everyone knows this from watching our first season, right? Um, I'm scared of dogs. And the dog biting me story was in Halloween wearing Batman. No way. It was yeah. on Halloween? That was oh. my last Halloween. Wow. That was it. I stopped after that. Did you actually? I did. That was your last time? <laughs> that was my last time. Oh man! So my most, I so my my favorite thing I ever dressed up as in Halloween was like Buzz Lightyear. Oh, okay. Because I had like I had like the wings and everything was dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My most iconic, like what I'm known for, is Blues Clues. <laughs> like, I don't know if you know this, but like I'm kind of the Blues Clues guy. Bro, that's hilarious that you just said. I'm not Blue talking Clues. about Steve. I oh, know you're not. Talking I'm talking about, about Blue. You're talking about Blue. I was wearing. So did the, you know that Blue is uh, female? Hey, I mean, breaking gender norms every day. I get it. I just, I never knew that. I did, I did know that. I didn't know that until literally today. actually, did I? I remember when when all of that stuff came out a few years ago, and then there was Violet, which was the Violet one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was after me. (laughs) Blue's Clues had like, was that supposed to be like an email, that guy that was running through the window, the mailbox? Yes. Yeah, that was just email. Yeah. It was just email for us. Yes. But oh, it's man. no. So I I saw completely off topic, but we're gonna. It's like a two second thing. Got it. Today I was like on Instagram, and I saw Steve from Blues Clues. Oh, you saw his thing. He, what thing? Wait, what did you, did you not see his his message? No, I don't know what message you're talking. I'm just saying that he married the girl from the big couch. So yeah, yeah. The what's wrong with you? What happened? He. What's wrong with why you? Why was this not in your highlights? It, That's why we have the highlights. Actually. It's so old. Like oh, this then, happened a month ago or something. Okay, what happened? He came on. He gave like a three minute speech about how he loves us all when we're adults, and he gave us closure. He was like, "Yeah, I went off to college, and I know it was kind of hard, and it was kind of hard on me too." Like he was being like, "I was like, fuck, dude." Really? Yeah, man, it hurt. So he has like a video about. Oh this. man! All right, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. Will you'll? Oh, we'll watch. report. Back. I mean, me and them. Yeah. So, <clears throat> good highlight. Good highlight. So, Halloween, Halloween, right? So, what gets you in the Halloween spirit? I like watching I like watching things. I, I, I immediately... So, from now till Halloween day, uh-huh. right? I watch movies that are on... Because now it's just nonstop Halloween. But I only watch one movie every single day. <laughs> Which one? Because I always find it on TV. Halloween Town. Halloween Town. Halloween Town is Town. my favorite Halloween movie. Yeah. It's Disney. amazing. Disney. Disney. It's a Disney movie. Yeah. You know it. You yeah, know. I know Halloween Town. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Halloween Town is a good movie. It's basically uh the the way that the, the movie structured is like these like humans supposedly that are just living a normal life that um Halloween Town is like a alter, alter dimension. Like it's a different dimension. Yeah, almost. you get there through a school bus. Yeah, you get there through like some crackhead school <laughs> bus, dude. <laughs> that and guy who was driving it. I don't know what the, the name is. Or like a taxi or something. You just freaking get in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the skeleton and, guy? Yeah, and their grandma was the witch, and then that one dude tried to take over the town. Their mom, so their mom was a witch, but she didn't want the she witch reneged. world. Yeah, she, she, re- she reneged. <laughs> She reneged. She reneged. She reneged. She reneged. And then she came. She she wanted to live the life of just normal humans. Which, by the way, all time bad decision. Like, are you kidding me? Like, like you. Well, there, well, she had the she had the reason, right? That guy, caliber. Okay, I mean, scary shoot. guy, caliber. Yeah, people could take care of that. Yeah, I'm not gonna have my kid watch that. It's scary. Man. If only you were like a witch that knew spells, right? I mean, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> well, that can be Mac in the, another reality. That's. I mean. That's, oh, let's please talk about this next time. Which okay, yeah. So conspiracies <laughs> is going to start becoming part of this podcast. So, so uh, that's my movie. That's your movie. Do you have a good? Do you have another? Movie? I'm a huge Scooby Doo guy. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo guy, like through and through. Scooby Doo Doo. Uh, I like the Scooby Doo movie, the live action one. Um, I like. Is that uh, considered a Halloween? I don't think so. <laughs> but it's like it's, it's something you watch in Halloween. Yeah, because I mean, it's not really a Halloween movie, but like There's it's, it's about like ghosts and like yeah, monsters yeah, yeah, and, and stuff so like you, that. You mean anything under the ghost monster? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, some people say their favorite Halloween movie, for example, is like The Exorcist. Uh huh. Right, because it's like a horror movie, and they love horror movies. Got it. Yeah. Got it, right. Got it. So, so it's, it's just, just like, a sco- spooky. It's just Scooby. what gets it's spooky season, man. What just what gets you in the what gets you in the mood to be spooky? So I like Scooby Doo because growing up, Casper. 
Uh, oh, Casper for you? Yeah. Casper is a good one. Well, growing up for me, Scooby-Doo was so big because I had everything Scooby-Doo. King's Dominion in Virginia was all Scooby-Doo'd out. You remember that? Yeah, it's yeah. all Scooby-Doo'd out. The water park. There was the graham cracker, like Scooby snacks. <laughs> like I used to house those. <laughs> and then the fruit snacks, the blue Scooby, that thing hit like a goddamn truck. Yep. yep. That, that hit like hey, the mystery I'm a, I'm machine. I'm a big Scooby fan. That hit like the mystery machine, dude. That was amazing. <sighs> Love so I, I like to watch that. It gets me in the spirit. I'm a big Halloween guy because so the history of Halloween, right? Um, do you go to haunted houses or are you not about that? So what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> so do you go? Uh huh. So look, so let that... me tell let me tell you like like just me personally, like as a as a man. <laughs> it's it's uh, no it's okay as a as, as, a, as, as a strong it's confident a, arab man in america man uh, enough to say it I, i'm man enough to say that yeah. i'm not a big house uh haunted house guy <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I went to. I went to. You know the thing in Wadi. Of course I do. Okay, so in Dubai there's this like, dungeon. Yeah, there's like this dungeon and like this pyramid mall. You walk like, through it. You just walk through it. It's like chainsaws and everything. Someone but like following you, it's but, so scary. But they follow a little too close. Like they're too good at their jobs. You know. <laughs> It's like it's like if it's uh, like they were the cast of Scooby Doo. Yeah, exactly. They were. T- <laughs> um, so it's it's tough, but no, I'm not a I'm not a haunted house guy. I don't like horror movies. I don't so, like any of that. So shit. I'm the same as you. Mm-hmm. But if 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 you're so if you're in a group of like with a with a group of people, uh huh, and you're in like let's just say King's Dominion on Halloween day, uh huh, and you, they say, hey, let's go into the haunted house because they have a huge one. I'm gonna. I, are you gonna say no? Or are you gonna be peer no, no, pressure no. to? Let go me tell on? you what I do. You're gonna be in the I, middle. No, I. I always find something practical to say that's gonna make people just be like, "Oh, I guess you're right." I gotta okay? go to the bathroom. No, no, no. Watch this. I'm gonna be like, guys, if we go to the haunted house now, we're gonna hit the line. What we do because everyone's flooding in. What we do is we do everything, then we come back. No one's gonna want to do it at the end. They're gonna be tired, but we're gonna beat the game. See, and you're smart because right? you think it closes. You. No, it closes at It seven. closes before the park closes, right? So you got to maneuver it. And then yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, man. I really wanted to do it. Whole just time, right. they don't know that you're a bitch. <laughs> like, you're just you're just the guy who ruins it for everyone just so that you don't go in. Oh, absolutely. So that's exactly what I would do. Yeah, like, absolutely. I'm like, yo, how about we come back to this yeah, later? Yeah. No, no. This will look better when it's darker. So we need to wait. <laughs> yeah, of course, bro. What do you mean? I don't, I don't like that shit because I don't understand... Why do you expect me in well, my we free time, we have a <laughs> in my free time, why would I not watch a comedy? Why would I not watch an action movie? Why am I trying to get scared on my dollar? <laughs> like, why am I trying to have fear on my time? I, I, I know. I, I, <laughs> I'm the same. Like, I wish there was someone else on this podcast that, like, really loves this stuff. Because I don't. Like I completely and understand. You know what the funniest what shit saying. is? Is the people that love it, they'll wake, they'll like, you'll talk to them one day. You'll be uh, out with them. Something that, like, dude, I haven't slept in a week. Why? Oh, I've been watching these movies, man. It's like, yeah, you should, you should stop. <laughs> like maybe if you stop, you'll get some sleep. Did you think about that? I like, have an, I have a, I have an idea. Uh huh. Which about, one? Tell me which one. How about, how about you and I? Uh huh. Go to a haunted house. Uh huh. And we videotape the whole I, trip so i i think that's a great idea but if, but the thing <laughs> Should is we leave is, it for the no end? no because we'll if we go now we'll hit traffic bro let's go if we go now we'll I'm hit serious. traffic let's go to where to a haunted house okay you and me okay just us just us okay if you want if anyone else wants to join let us know you can no come. no 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 because we can lie and say we did it no 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 i'm not gonna lie oh okay so i want to i'm scared yeah. but i want do you want to do it absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> What is that? What you want me to say? I just don't. I just don't see it as a practical use of but my time. But let's do it for the fans because they want to see us. Okay, the they, fans. They want to see. If it. you guys really want to see it, if if twenty of you respond to this Fine. and say I'll do it, uh, I go do it. I swear to you, I'm gonna get twenty people. If you, to if respond. twenty people tell 20 me, twenty people respond to this now. Okay, if twenty people tell me go to the haunted house. All right. You're going to go. Yeah, I'll, I'll put my big boy panties on. All right. Okay. I'll walk over there. Oh, baby, I'm going to get you 20 that, people. If, if it's if it's oh, one of the situations man. where you have to sign a form, I'm out. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> if it's a, if this is a form type situation, Bro. I don't want to go anywhere Bro. that I have to sign a form. 20 people are One time they sign. tried to feed me a wing at Buffalo Wing Factory <laughs> and they're like, "If you want to eat this wing, you have to sign a form." I was like, "Why the fuck would I eat the wing now?" <laughs> like, why does that make you think that I want the wing now? Does that Anyway, haunted house. So, so uh, those are our movies that remind us of Halloween. 
uh, one thing that I'm very excited for Halloween to is I think growing up, depending on how you grew up, especially in Arab households, you think that Halloween was created by Shaitan. Right, <laughs> like you think that Halloween was just created is by the why, devil. Is that why because, you don't want to go in? No, because so when you're a kid, you think Halloween is created by the devil because every morning in October, your mom wakes up and she pushes that propaganda through your head. Yeah. Right. It's really yeah. because costumes are expensive. Okay. <laughs> costumes are really expensive, and I'm gonna tell my kid that, hey, man, we don't do Halloween. Yeah. And he's gonna be like, why? I'm gonna be like, dude, like your grandma said, the devil, <laughs> like. It's all um, about her. Yeah, no, I mean, it, the background of Halloween is interesting. It didn't really start as, it was to fend off ghosts. But now we dress up as, as like, ghosts. as ghosts. Because they didn't, it's it's a whole thing. Like, it's like, everything just gets lost in translation. Is we think we're, oh, dude, we're crushing Halloween. These people are looking down at us. It's like, oh, the ghosts won. They're everywhere. They, they had no idea. <laughs> the people who wanted to get away from them. They had no idea. Uh, that's what I'm saying. They're like, they this whole time they're up there. They're like, shit, dude, we lost. Like, this is all for nothing. Like, like I lost my third son. <laughs> we're dead now. Yeah, it's like I lost Gregory to this shit. Are Man, you kidding me? I really want to hear a conspiracy about Halloween and what happens at night. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> you know, I sleep down here. I don't want you to introduce any bad juju that's gonna follow me to bed. No man, no okay? bad juju. I don't man. sleep in this room. Okay. Oh, oh wait, sorry. This is outside. This is an outdoor studio with an outdoor brick wall. Bro, what are you doing? I this forgot. is the studio that we paid for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> this was a good podcast. So I wanted to keep it nice and lighthearted this week. Thanks. Man. Um, Halloween sure. coming up. Uh, we we have kids, so you know we're gonna we're be looking taking for them. twenty comments. You just let me say we have kids. Like, what are you? We have kids. Who's we? Huh? See? Oh, who? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, he's not in Brekkiz, Mary. That means he's not. I'm totally in yeah. Brekkiz. Okay. I'm just thinking of the haunted house. So if you guys, if 20 of you guys say, if 20 of you guys say, Maj, you need to go to a haunted house. Okay. Let's give you until, let, let's close it. The day before Halloween. Let's close it on November 1st. And then if we get 20, I'll go for Halloween. No. What? Don't you're not playing that because all haunted houses close on November first. That's not true. It's literally they sell fireworks after it's July fourth. The 4th. day before it's all the shitty ones. The day, <laughs> the day before Halloween. The day before Halloween. And then okay. if everything goes well, Halloween day. Deal. All right, fellas. All right, ladies. This was another installment of the Mac and Maj podcast. Yes, sir. We will be back to you next week with some new segments, with some uh, new topics. Until then, we bid you farewell. Signing off.